it's your boy and Guru in the house back with another bang on video well ladies and gentlemen unbelievable news for you guys because i'm actually coming up with more and more about this uh, transfer news because the transfer window is just ready upon us it's just in less than a month and we all are ready to sign some new stars because we know that we need rec rec recruitments at certain areas so let's see if that's going to happen or not but moving on real madrid star vinicius junior's view on arsenal emerges after he's failed summer transfer move to arsenal he says he has no regrets about snubbing arsenal and paris saint germain in the summer he actually feels that you know he has a uh, they they arsenal and actually uh, are actually a very small club and that would not have helped him in the near future though he finds himself behind eden hazard on the flanks in the spanish capital but it does not look like he says no i mean uh, zidane actually said that no he's not going anywhere he will stay here He is a member of the squad. But moving on, the biggest news that's coming our way: Pierre Aubameyang has been ranked 20th in by the Ballon d'Ors. Yes, he was 20th in the number of uh, votes that actually came in. Well, well, he finished way uh, ahead of Son Heung-min, Son Hugo Lloris, Mark uh, Andre Ter Stegen, Khalid Koulibaly, Georgina Van Alden, Karim Benzema, Johnny Van de Beek, Marquinhos, and Shao Felix. Congratulations, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, the 20th best striker, according to French government, French football. I don't know. But moving on, moving on. Alan Shearer's match week 14 team of the week actually has been announced, and Pierre Emerick Aubameyang makes as one of the strikers. He makes into the team of the week. Congratulations, Pierre, again. But moving on. Well, Dejan Kulusevski, Manchester United and Arsenal and Tottenham target. Has admitted he is a Chelsea fan. Yes. Oh my God. He is also plastic. But moving on. Nadine Arroyo actually has uh, been linked with a move to the Premier League after a series of sparkling performances for Parma uh, while set loan from Atlanta. But moving on. Well, uh, actually something really happened because P.S. Morgan posted this boom two two. Where would we be without the wondrous Aubameyang? Well, this actually happened during the Norwich game. But two more for our goal machine. Gary Lineker responded to that, saying, "17th brilliant goal scorer. He knows where we would be if hadn't Aubameyang scored those goals." I completely agree. Yes, but moving on. Well, Ari and Katia, ladies and gentlemen, we all know that in the FA Cup, uh, you know, uh, the lots have been released, and Arsenal are going to face uh, Leeds United. Yes, in January, Arsenal versus Leeds United at the Emirates in January. Well, the Emirates FA Cup third round game. And uh, Eddie and Ketia is supposed to play, face Arsenal. Well, they're not going to go. They're, gonna, they're definitely going to go uh, full throttle. Well, let's see if that's going to happen or not. But moving on, Arsenal will host Leeds United in the FA Cup third round. We all know that, but actually said that Lee Dixon has urged Stan Kroenke to hire Massimiliano Allegri or Carlo Ancelotti if he wants a quick fix. He says if he wants a quick fix, then he's going to do. He's going. He's going to have to go for somebody. Like an allegory or somebody who can come in or an Ancelotti and go right. We've fixed it for now. We'll get into the Champions League, but long-term view of the club is all down to the owner. But here's something statistical for everyone: since Aubameyang has joined Arsenal in January 2018, he is the top away goal scorer for Arsenal at 18, followed by Lacazette who has only five goals, Mkhitaryan has four, and Iwobi Ramsey, Mustafi, Shaka are all tied at two away goals. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. That's the fact. Aubameyang saves our reputation, even a going away. But I don't think so. Anybody else would come into that picture. But moving on. Well, Ferdinand Lundberg has Arsenal in his heart and can produce something special. Says Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. He says he can give us something special. If I'm not wrong, he was a part of the Invincibles. His career speaks for itself. We will try to follow him and give the best for him. Everybody is respectful of Freddie. He played for Arsenal. He knows as a player how he, we feel. It's interesting to have him. We had only one training session with him. Maybe two for those guys who didn't play on Thursday. We will see this week what is going to happen. I think it's good for us. He played for Arsenal and he has this in his heart. I try to give the guys all my positivity as always. I try to be an example. Work hard. I think the mood is good. We try to find out more confidence in winning games. We try our best. And now we have Sack. Now we have Freddy, and we are all focused on one thing: that is, get back to winning. James Oli has actually said about Freddy Nunberg. He said Freddy Nunberg 
viewed as a genuine contender to be permanent Arsenal Football Club manager. A shortlist will be drawn up in the coming weeks. But if Lundberg triggers a big enough change in the in fortunes, he could get the job full time. Well, you can actually go to the Arsenal's official Twitter account and actually vote for the November's Player of the Month. Yes, the three uh, actually three have been named: Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Bad Leno, and Matteo Guendouzi. In no way, shape, or form, Guendouzi should make it. Please make sure Bad Leno and Aubameyang actually out of those two. I think Leno give Leno a chance to win it sometimes. Because that's what I believe. But Genduzi had a very poor outing. I don't know why. He even, why is even he even there in the top three content? I I really don't know why it is that. But let's see. But moving on. Well, a number of Arsenal players have been criticised for support by supporters for appearing to ignore their mascot ahead of Premier League clash with Norwich. Well, there was a video posted on Sunday. The Gunners can be seen arriving off the team coach at Keller Road for Lindbergh's first game as an interim head coach. The young mascot is shown standing in the tunnel, wearing Arsenal third kit, the strip, the side war against the Canaries. But Aubameyang, Mustafi, Ozil, Lacazette and Chambers walk towards the dressing room. They walk straight past without acknowledging the child. Well, one of the Arsenal fans actually posted this in his Twitter account stating that stuff like this really does my head in. How hard is it to acknowledge your mascot? Well, another one said, that broke my heart to be honest. The little man is obviously shy and probably not the kind of kid who would extend his hand for a high five or a fist bump. The lads should have acknowledged him. It won't take but a second. I am raging here, another one said. And the last one said, Aubameyang, Mesut Ozil, can we get the poor lad a signed jersey? The least he deserves. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope I enjoyed whatever came your way. All the news and views and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day. So make sure you subscribe and be a part of this community. Hit that bell icon so you get notifications as well. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.